Marty is able to get his shoulders and upper arms forward. With his head lifted to 90 degrees, we see extensor muscle activity down into the lumbar spine. His lower extremities still show some flexion and abduction, but he is moving toward exhibiting lower extremity extension. He is beginning to take weight on fisted hands, typical for this age. He is able to turn his head freely and follow a toy side to side. As he turns his head and starts pushing, we can see that this push causes a weight shift to the right side. This will help further extend his leg and let him start the initial movement to rolling onto his back. Notice that the elbows are in front of the shoulders, creating a narrower base of support. Marty is also able to reach forward on the surface for a toy. The ability to bring the arms forward and prone is important because it helps facilitate rolling onto the back. Much as we saw at two months, Owen's hips are too flexed, which causes weight to be shifted forward to his shoulders and head. His elbows also remain behind his shoulders. These movement patterns interfere with forearm propping. Owen can lift his head clear of the surface just enough to turn it from one side to the other. He cannot sustain head lifting, however, and he uses only neck extension to turn. Owen is unable to use upper extremity control to shift weight posteriorly onto stable lower extremities, which would provide greater stability for his head and support upper extremity weight bearing. 